guess where we are now? Just traveling like crazy. The MRG Fine Art Gallery right here in Los Angeles, Sherman Oaks, with your boy Rob Riley. You guys probably didn't know. I know he's Mr. VH1. I know he's traveling all around the world. But guess what? He's got some fine art in here, too. And I'm going to bring you in there to see it right here on the Yo Checker Show. Nam, baby, Flatbush representing to the death. I'm really good. I'm really excited for Rob and everything he's doing. His art is amazing. Yes. Yeah, so. Did you know about that? Well, I we worked together, and he started his photography at work and um, hit the floor. And I mean, he didn't he didn't know anything about photography, and he started bringing this camera and taking pictures of all of us and learning. We were kind of like his guinea pigs. And so now to see how how much he's evolved in such a short amount of time, he's amazing. I'm so proud of him. So today, this is a Hollywood Massive, which is my new production company. Myself, my partner, Eugene Stokes. Um, we are putting on the Fresh Perspective, which is my first ever photography gallery exhibition. I'm a photographer as well, uh, photographer, director, um, poet. I play the guitar, I write music, but most of you know me as an actor. At the end of the day, I'm an artist. I tell stories, uh, and this is a way to tell stories through to, through photography. So we've got a lot of, of my photography in there, a lot of black and whites from my travels around the country in the last uh, year and a half, and we're um, raising funds for our travel show and documentary series, which is to cover carnivals all over the world. Um, because uh, I'm Trinidadian and Bayesian, first generation American born. Um, has, uh, shout out to 246-868, okay? Trini Massive, Bayesian Massive, stand up. Ooh. Um, so uh, I, you know, I'm proud of my culture. I love people to be proud of their cultures. I, I, my hashtag is show your colors, you know? Um, so what we're trying to do, or our goal is to go to carnivals all over the world and highlight what we believe is the distillation of diversity and culture because in a carnival no matter where you are wherever you are in the world you will see every walk of life and every shade of brown from the whitest white to the darkest dark you'll see tall short you'll see fat skinny you'll see young old you'll see gay straight you'll see man woman you'll see all of that in carnival all of those specific demographics exist every day day in and day out but a lot of times for whatever reason we find differences that keep us apart well, in a carnival throughout the world, no matter where you are on carnival day, all that goes out the window. So, Hollywood Massive and folks that think like us seek to highlight that as often as possible and bring you to carnival. Because carnival can't always come to you, although there are a lot of them. Find one near you. Um, Carnivalinfo.com. Those are my boys. But... Um, we want to bring it to you, so we're, we're, we're producing a television show, a documentary series that will take you to carnivals all around the world, allow you to experience them, get you uh, hip to the culture in terms of food, art, music, and all minus any appropriation because, as I say, I would never want you to think tacos came from Taco Bell. So this is about authentic culture. This is about the old folks being proud of us and the young folks being able to get it. I'm trying to bring worlds together. You see what I'm doing here? Uh, what we're trying to do right now is make sure we're bringing the people together. And I'm, um, we've been trying to do this for a very long time. Finally, we put it together. So I'm looking forward to next year, Hollywood Massive on the boulevard, making it happen. Now, we had like 3,000 people out there. We are planning that next year to have a minimum of five to 6,000 people in costume running down Hollywood Boulevard. We have a Haitian band coming out. We have a band from St. Lucia coming out. We have a Belizean band coming out. And it's going to be wicked. My Bazaar Cognac is also sponsoring the event, so I'm excited. It's it's a win-win it's a for both of us. I love him, love his work, and this is amazing. And you're going to go inside, check out the art, and we're going to have a little taste, find out some more. And what are you doing right now? Because I know you're always up to something. Come on, give us <laughs> yes. a little peek. We're on episode four uh, coming up of our um, season four, Basketball Wives LA. It's amazing. We've got some new girls on the show as well, Shawnee um, and Tammy and Megan and Angel. And then I'm doing a movie. I just wrapped another movie. And I'm just doing a lot of stuff. I have a lot going on.
Jackie, you got a movie going on? Is, uh-huh. is it wrapping up? or No, actually, we're in pre-production. It's called In the Land of Sex and Money, and I'm one of the executive producers. Well, it's my movie, so I'm that. And then I have Christian Keys, also as an executive producer. And um, so it's going to be amazing. And um, we just wrapped one. I have LaToya Luckett, Malik Yoba, Columbus Short, all those guys starring in it. It's called Lucky Girl. What is the one thing that men are four times more likely to lose than women? I would probably say their hair. <laughs> oh. That receding hairline, it, looking like Homer Simpson going right. <laughs> I Homer just, Simpson, maybe the hair or even their weight, get that nice little bear belly going on. Us women, we have to, you know, we got to keep looking good. Keep it slim. Keep it slim, you know, fit thick, you know. <laughs> but the men, I, they let they let it go. After the, what, 35, 40 years old, they just let it go. I, I didn't know. say it. She said it. She said it. I swear to God. Go to YoChecker.com. You'll find out the answer, right? Oh, yeah. Check Thank out you. Yo Checker. I don't know. Their shoes. <laughs> she, you heard it. She said their shoes. You have to go to YoChecker.com and check it out. This is Robert Christopher Riley. You're tuned in to Yo Checker. Get your life. <laughs>